Support Laneside. Get something cool. Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Laneside Reviews. As always, I'm the bearded beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. And we've got some really exciting stuff to show you on this episode, so why don't we take it Laneside and see how it's stacked up. So as we return to bowling, we want to make sure that we have regained all of our flexibility and ability to execute shots. Now, we've been off for a few months now, and though it doesn't probably feel like it, our muscles will tighten and shrink. So before we get back to the lanes, we want to take a moment to really stretch things out. And the first thing I start with here is my calf and my Achilles. So you can see here I'm using the Turbo Rock Band Flex, and I'm just hooking it around the ball of my foot. And I'm just going to apply enough pressure as I relax my leg to pull my heel up off the ground. It's going to elongate that calf muscle and help stretch my Achilles. Uh, when we're sliding, we're putting a lot of pressure on the bottom of our foot, the ankle, and the calf to stabilize us. So we always want to make sure that we've really got it stretched out so that we can have our maximum amount of stability at the line. Now we do this for two sets, about 30 seconds at a time. I've sped things up a little bit so we can get through this. Now the next one we're going to do here... We're going to do the same thing. We're going to hook it around the ball of my foot, and we're going to straighten that knee. And this is going to work the knee, the hamstring. So we want to keep that knee straight. And we don't want to pull it too hard. We just want to pull it enough that we start to feel the stretch. If you start really pulling on it, you're going to tear something. Remember, we're getting our, our body ready to get back to the lanes. And you can actually do these before you bowl as well. Any stretching that you do is going to benefit your game. So normally we would do both sides here. I'm just doing the one side so that you guys can see it. I'm pulling back around here. Now this one's going to be very similar to our knee and hamstring stretch. We're going to take the rock band flex. We're going to hook it around the ball of our foot. And this is for our knee, hip, and glute. So we're taking it up the same way, but we're taking it across our body. You know, it's just... We're just holding it there just until we feel the stretch and then letting it come back down. Now you want to do that two sets of 30 seconds on both sides. That'll really, really loosen up that hip, that hamstring, that knee. Now what we're doing is we're just pulling our heel right back towards our body very slowly. This is going to help stretch out the hip and the knee. It's going to warm up the muscle really well. And you can see it doesn't take long, just two real quick sets. It's called a heel slide, and we're just pulling it up towards the body until our foot goes flat. You can see there, my foot's just about flat. I'm going to share uh, a video from somebody called Ask Dr. Joe. Uh, I've been using her stuff for a little while Her here, and her stretches are excellent. This is the last one that I do. This is not one that Dr. Joe does. This is one that I do specifically. And all we're doing here is we are engaging our leg. We're contracting the muscles to bring our knee up off the ground. We're, that's going to help contract all the way through our gluteus, all the way through our leg, down all the way through our toes. It's just going to be our final warm-up piece. And you can see it's very similar to how you look when you're bowling. So we're getting a good stretch across our body and getting ready to bowl. So hopefully this will get you ready to get back on the lanes real soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a show. So until next time, guys, we'll see you lane side.